Welcome to Exploring Atlanta, your ultimate guide to the rich history, diverse culture, and must-see attractions this vibrant city offers. In today's episode, we're going to explore three of Metro Atlanta's tiny house communities. They are South Park Cottages, Union Park Cottages, and the Cottages of Vaughn. Before we dive into the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe as it helps us bring you more videos like this. The size of a tiny house can vary but is generally considered a single-family home around 500 square feet or less. Tiny house living has become more than just a trend, but a lifestyle for many people. There is a growing segment of the population interested in a simpler or minimalist lifestyle. With inflation and the rising cost of traditional homes and rentals, tiny houses are an attractive living alternative. There was a time when tiny houses were mostly attractive to middle-aged adults who were looking to downsize, or recent retirees seeking a simpler life in their older years. But we're seeing more and more millennials and Gen Zs attracted to tiny house living. It gives them more financial freedom, and they tend to value their time over space. They are more interested in technology, meaningful work, global warming, healthcare, diversity, and equality. For them, it's less about space and more about their values. There are pros and cons to consider before purchasing a tiny house. Three of the pros are, a tiny house is more affordable than a traditional home. It's an opportunity to get to home ownership quicker. The cost of living is cheaper. Tiny homes are energy efficient. You don't have to contend with huge utility bills. Many tiny houses are solar powered. Tiny houses are eco-friendly. There's less waste than with a traditional house. It takes less materials to build. If you're concerned about global warming or reducing your carbon footprint of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane, then a tiny house gives you that. Three of the cons of purchasing a tiny house are limited space. Of course, this is the primary characteristic that distinguishes a tiny house from a traditional home. There's less storage space and has limited entertainment capacity. Resale value. Generally speaking, tiny houses don't appreciate in value over time. Financing can be difficult. You won't be able to get a conventional mortgage loan. Your finance options are basically personal loans or builder financing. With this general overview of tiny houses, come along as we explore three sought after tiny house communities in the metro Atlanta area. We hope you find the information insightful and enjoyable in so much as we enjoy presenting it to you. For more videos like this, may I remind you not to forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Click the all notifications bell so that you receive an alert each time we upload a new video. Now, let's go exploring.